what you're looking at here is a belt pack, which is actually a life jacket that you can manually deflate. Who we have on the set with us is my nine-year-old daughter. This is Paige Graviscus. We also have Rachel Johnson. And Rachel, thank you for stopping by. Rachel's with the National Safe Boating Council. And I know that this is kind of a two-step life jacket where once you deploy it, it inflates. And then what's the second motion that you have to do with a belt pack life jacket? For the belt pack, like you were saying, it'll inflate right in front of you. And you do have that secondary motion putting it over your head. So this is for the more experienced a swimmer, someone that's more comfortable in the water. All right, well, one of the biggest reasons people don't wear life jackets is, you know, boating is primarily a summertime sport and it's hot and, and it's muggy. And the last thing you want to do is put one of those ugly orange things on and, 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 and just increase your body temperature. So companies have come up with different life jackets that are much more comfortable to wear, like a belt pack, for instance, this is, this is great. If you're a fisherman or something like that, after five minutes, you don't even feel this thing on you. But there's also vest style life jackets. Could you show everybody one? Sure, we have the suspender here. Similar, it's an inflatable life jacket as well. You have to pull the cord to inflate it. It comes with the CO2 cylinder inside that must be replaced each time after use. Could, could you show everybody how to replace the cylinder? Sure. Okay, because you don't throw away the life jacket, you can recharge these things. Life jacket is good to go. After the cylinder's used, you pop it out, you throw this one away, get a brand new one, put it in, and it's ready okay, to go. Okay, that took about four seconds. Okay, <laughs> that, that, that's pretty easy. Could you show how to fit a child in a life jacket? Sure. Two key things that you want to note for all people and then for children. Make sure the life jacket you choose is U.S. Coast Guard approved. And it'll say that on the inside of the label, including other key information you want to know. So, so put this on her and, and show us what to do as parents. All right, page one arm. We got two arms. When you're putting the life jacket on the child and on the adult as well, make sure that everything is buckled, zipped, whatever there is on the life jacket, make sure it's on correctly. And then we want to go ahead and tighten the straps on the sides. And we like to point out that you want a snug fit for children. One last test. We're gonna go ahead and have Paige lift her arms up in the air. And when we lift up the straps here, if the life jacket is too big, it's gonna come up past her ears and we don't want that. So what we'll see here with the proper fit, Paige is kind of coming up with the life jacket. That means it's a snug, proper fit. How can people get a hold of the National Safe Boating Council? We would love everyone to visit us at safeboatingcampaign.com. And of course, if they had any questions and they want to talk to someone, I'm always available. My information is on the website. Two final words, guys. They're right down here. Wear it.